Hello, this is a video note about installing, or rather connecting, our brand new high accuracy, low cost USB barometer, which looks like this. Uh, this is the device here. It just plugs into a USB port and, uh, and it comes in a metal, metal container like this. And that's the one I want to show how it works. You can plug it into any navigation app. We'll have a video on each of the different popular, popular programs. Or you can run it if you, don't, if you want to run it just in a regular computer, a Mac or a PC. We have a very versatile, powerful, uh, free program for a Mac or PC that runs it. And you can read about that on that web page. Okay, so here, the example today we'll do is OpenCPN, and this is in a PC. It's essentially the same process. Uh, the, the connection file's different, but uh, I'll show that in a minute. So here we are, and then the connection would be made. You have to, first of all, for a PC, know the COM port, and you can get the COM port uh, you can double check the COM port from the device manager. Here it's, it's a COM port 4. And all you have to do is unplug it, and this will go away. Plug it back in, this will come back. So we know we're on COM port 4 uh, for a PC. Now on the Mac, it's a more complicated looking term, but the port, the port that you will hook, it, look, hook to will look something like this. That's what the wording will look like. And this number out here could be anything, one, two, or three, something like that. But this is, it won't have COM port, it'll have this. But otherwise, the process and the connections are, are pretty much the same. And so you connect by, let's just do this, and then we'll set up ways to read the pressure. Um, options, um, options, and then add a connection. Uh, we're a serial port, and then this is going to be COM port 4. Now I have this actually hooked, not, I have the unit not plugged in directly into the computer, but in, I have a long cable on it, so I can actually stand up here and put it on the ceiling and so forth. You could put barometer if you want to, this doesn't matter, uh, here. Uh, and I think that's everything. Um, Okay, that's in. Oh, well, we could check to see that it's working. Show the NEMA D apply. Okay. Okay, so there you see. Okay, so that's all working. That's the two NEMA sentences that are coming in that give the pressure. And they, um, they, they give the pressure and the time and so forth that way. Okay, now to view the pressure here, we have several ways we could do it and it involves a plug-in. So let's go here to the plug-ins. And then when you, um, the thing to do with the plug-ins though is always update this plug-in master here to be sure you've got the latest versions. Okay, that's all updated. And the simplest one is the dashboard. We just turn on the dashboard. Let's click preferences. And then here is a, well, let's just add a new dashboard, this one show this dashboard, I'll call it, let me just call it borrow for now. And then you add, add, uh, oh, barometric pressure right here. Is that got it? Yeah, barometric pressure, okay. Like that, and then we say apply, okay. Now, okay, so here's, oh, there is a dashboard right there. Oh, okay, that's the, uh, that's not the dashboard we wanted. So let me right click this and say preferences. And um, oh, I must not have saved it. Uh, okay, let me do this. Let me just delete this and delete this. And I'll take this and, I'll, and I'm just going to add the barometric pressure to this one. Okay, that's barometric. And I'll get rid of the position because I, I don't have a GPS hooked here. Okay, so that's that. Now we say okay. And there we've got the barometric pressure and it's reading it. Okay, so that's the pressure that's being read from our sensor. The other thing you might do that is they got a nice plot function. Um, a plot function. So come down here to the plugin called plot. They're alphabetical MNO. P plots with an S install. Uh, do that. 
And then uh, that's okay. And then apply. Now, okay. It's, these should, should really show up here. It's, it's sometimes a case that when you do a new plugin, it doesn't quite show up here. So let's do this. Let's uh, just close the program and then reopen the program. And then, uh, okay, so see, now it's there. So we could turn on the plots. And then we want um, configuration. And I want barometer there. OK. And uh, oh, OK, so here comes a barometer. Now, here is the plot. Now, you can, I've got all these other ones on here, but you can shut them off if you want to and then just show the, just show the pressure, or you could have multiple things plotted at the same time. But now, let me see, I've got this thing on a stick. So if I stick it way up on the roof here, on the roof, that should make the pressure go down a little bit. Uh, now again, this is very sensitive. The change in pressure with elevation is 0.44 millibars. So that's 0.4. So it's this much, basically this much per 12 feet. And so I only raised it here about four feet, uh, five feet, so as high as I can go. But then I could go, I just wanted to show it moving on the graph. Now I'm gonna put this thing down on the ground like that, and that should raise the pressure back up. And you see, there's the pressure responding. It's a very sensitive and accurate device. You could measure your height uh, with, this, uh, with this instrument. Okay, so that's the process of getting it in, and then you can monitor the pressure off on the side while you're doing your navigation and weather routing and things like that, and, and use it to evaluate weather maps. And uh, it, it's, a, it's a crucial tool for uh, marine navigation.